Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and ever since I got my La Pizza Piccolo wood-fired pizza oven, you guys have been saying, James, when are we gonna see a dedicated pizza video? Well, you are in luck, today is the day. So I'm gonna walk you through everything that I've learned playing around with this oven over the last six months. And the first lesson is dough and dough hydration. So the types of dough that I've gotten used to using are often recipes that were originating for your home oven. So five, six, maybe 700 degrees, but they just can't withstand the abuse that a proper wood-fired pizza oven can produce. So we want to be able to have a, a pizza that cooks in one to two minutes without burning the bottom, but have enough time to properly render the top of our toppings or cook that pizza from the top down, which is where we get that flame rolling over effect. We need a different dough. So maybe I can explain it this way if we drew a little bit of a chart. So if we had in short duration, we're going to get low temperature. If we're going to get a long sort of cure, we're going to be able to get a high higher peak temperature that we can withstand. And so we need about 24 hours to prepare our dough to get enough hydration in it so that it can withstand the elements and the abuse we're gonna throw at it today. So this comes together really quick. It's the same basic couple ingredients that we would use in any dough uh, with the added benefit of time. So let me take you back to yesterday, walk you through how to make the dough in just a minute. And when you rejoin me present time, we'll be ready to fire up our pizza oven and get to work making our pizza pies. See you then. So to get started, I like to place a couple pieces of charcoal towards the back, fire starter, some kindling, and light up our fire starter. Now we wait. Wait? Waiting's for suckers. Let's fire it up. Okay, we'll start by sprinkling a little bit of seminal flour on our board. I like to take our dough ball, actually place that right in the flour, and drop that on the board so we can begin working. First, I'm just gonna start pressing it out with our fingers so we can make the edge of our crust. So to make our pizza, we're only gonna use our hands as well as gravity. So next we're gonna lift up our dough and let gravity start to stretch it, just hanging off of our hands. That looks good. Let's add a little bit of our sauce. Our mozzarella. And I like to add my basil at the end. So now that we have our fire going, let's talk fire management in a wood-fired pizza oven. And so I've adapted a technique that's worked really well in my offset. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna build two different fires. Our first fire is going to be all about getting some heat up in our dome so we can heat soak that five inches of insulation that we have on our La Pizza Piccolo wood oven. The second part we wanna do is really optimize for the wood-fired flavor. If we just let wood burn in a bush fire, you start to lose some of the, the nuance and the flavor that you get from wood actually burning. So we wanna knock those compounds down. So I'm gonna be using oak for today's fuel as well as flavor. Let me bring it nice and close and show you the two different fires that we're gonna set up with. So our first type of fire is going to be optimizing for getting some flames up. So that's where we might have a piece of wood on the bottom and start to allow good airflow uh, underneath and all around the wood so that we get the flame arcing up and over. This is gonna be a really good fire for heating the deck of our pizza oven as well as heat soaking the dome. So we get all three heat properties, our convection airflow, our radiant uh, cooking from the dome being heat soaked as well as our conduction energy from the deck of the pizza oven itself. But I found that this can be a little bit too aggressive, especially with you know about 12 inch size splits that that flame rolling all the way over has a tendency to want to burn the top of our pizza before the bottom is done, even though the bottom will be done anywhere between 60 and 120 seconds. 
So what I like to do after that is when we add our wood for cooking wood after we've maybe been lit for about 20 minutes is start to go with more of a knockdown fire, the same uh, as what you might use in your offset. So we're gonna get our wood splits really close together. So we'd push any of the, the coals that we have in the middle of these and then place our flatter pieces that come out of the bag on a 45 degree angle over top. So I've got two flat looking pieces here. And what this is gonna do is allow us to continue to get constant heat from our fire. It's gonna last much longer, but more importantly, this is gonna hold the fire back down in terms of temperature. So instead of in open bushfire temperatures, we're gonna be more in a fire running in that 700, 800 degree range, which is going to give us the flavor of wood itself. And this is what really sets a wood fired pizza oven apart from something, whether it's propane, pellets, or charcoal. Let's go check on our uh, fire and see if we're ready to get our pizza on. Don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I have the door on to help trap heat, as well as dialing down our damper to help, again, make sure that we heat soak everything. Let's take a look at our fire, clean our deck. So now that our uh, pizza oven is heat soaked, I'm actually gonna build that fire that I just demonstrated. So first, I'm gonna get a split and place it right here in the coals, and then using the other round split, push all of these coals right in between the middle clean our deck here, our two splits. Then looking for the flat bottom on a piece of wood, we wanna lay this on a 45 degree angle. So I don't wanna go this way because that's gonna be blocking the air right up front. I wanna let the air come all the way in underneath. So I'll place this right on the back like so. And second piece, again, looking for the flattest part to place on a 45 degree angle. Put our door back on, give that a couple minutes to catch and make sure we're getting great flavor. Slide it in. Turn our pizza so we're not getting any burning. So can still work on my kneading abilities, but what we've got is good bounce back, nice doneness on the crust. So as a learning effort, pretty happy with that. Let's slice into it, see how we, how we did. Good cell consistency on the dough. Some leopard prints on the bottom, that looks good. Let's grab a piece for a taste test. Cheers. What? <laughs> it was so good. I'm still learning a ton about pizza and I'll continue to update you as I learn more, but you guys have been asking so much to see a wood-fired pizza. I just wanted to get this out and show you how the evolution is coming along. And this is, again, an early spot in the journey. I can't wait to see what's in store as we continue to fine tune turning out amazing pizza pies. But this, I'm gonna give that a two thumbs up uh, rating. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to catch future videos and don't be afraid to fire it up.